Hey guys, Tim here again, Tim's Computer Fix uh, This is a part two of some uh, videos, uh, screencasts that I've been doing about uh, hike vision cameras. I spoke briefly on the last video about a couple different types. I didn't touch on all different types of cameras. Um, I can get into all that into in another video, but I just kind of wanted to move along to the interface built into the hike vision NVRs, which is where we're at here again we're we're on the live uh, view page on a camera system that we have four cameras hooked up in so I just kind of want to pick up where we left off from the last video so this is your live view of course just like we talked about and we have our different cameras here that we can kind of scroll through and, and you can view all of your cameras that are hooked up to the NVR so down here in the bottom right, we have some buttons that kind of help you do certain actions during the live view on your live view page. But what these buttons do here, um, you can start and stop all live views. So I click that one and all live views go away. If I click it again, uh, all four cameras will light up. So that's a pretty good little feature there. Um, this button here, if I have camera one in this box here highlighted, you can select uh, capture and you'll when you click it, it'll actually capture the exact image that's on the live view at the time you click it. And then here also you have a start recording. And this will actually start all the recordings of the cameras that you have up here on your screen. Also, you have a um, magnifying glass button down here, and you can you can zoom in box, just draw a box and zoom, and it'll zoom right to it. Now, this is where I was talking about 720p cameras versus 1080p cameras, because the zoom feature is pretty good, but the zoom feature is better with 1080p cameras because you have higher resolution. So this zoom would be a lot clearer if it was 1080p, obviously. So that's what that button there is for. Uh, this is uh, audio, two-way audio. If you want to, if your camera support uh, have speakers or support or have microphones and support audio, these do not. Uh, this is. Uh, this is a uh, mute feature that you can mute or unmute your cameras. And then here's your full screen button down here, too, that can actually make your interface look a lot cleaner on your monitor or your desktop or whatever. Uh, and it'll kind of make it give, give it a little bit more of a cleaner look. You can press escape for that to go back how that was. So that's what those buttons down here do. Nice little shortcut buttons. Um, I'll, I'll come back on another video and kind of show you where these uh, show you how to record and where these recordings and where these uh, picture captures actually go to and how we can kind of clip them and edit them and, uh, and, and that kind of stuff. So I want to quickly kind of go into the configuration side of things up here. So we can just click configuration. And then up here we have uh, just your basic information. This is the device name. And you can name that when you first get set your device up. You can change this to anything you would like. Um, and this is the model of the device. Got the serial number of the device here. Firmware version in case there's any firmware updates. And some other some other bits of information, the number of channels, number of hard drives, in this case there's only one, and alarm outputs here. For our local configuration, you can see that our protocol is set to TCP. Now you do have other options of UDP. TCP is just fine for starting off. Um, you have a uh, stream types here, which leaving that at, at default is is okay also. 
you have a substream type, which I'll explain what that means um, in another video. Image size autofill. So autofill, what that basically means is that uh, it autofills the uh, size. It, it automatically detects the size of your screen resolution um, and, and kind of goes either 16 by 9 or 4 by 3. Okay, record file size. I have this set to 512 megabytes. So basically what that means is, is that whenever the file is recording, if it reaches 512 megabytes, it will automatically start a new file. The live view performance balanced. So what that basically means is, you know, it, it basically helps eliminate lag. So the balance helps eliminate lag. You can do do least delay, which is the least amount of, of lag, but your quality may be decreased a little bit. Um, best fluency would mean um, that you're probably going to get some lag, but you're going to get the highest quality picture um, that you possibly can with live view. Okay, this is where all of the saved recorded files are saved to so you can set that to anything you like uh, your snapshots you could also set that to any to any location you like um, your snapshots when played back or played back from this location and save clips any clips that you save are saved to this location and any downloaded files you save to this location so, like I said, that can be changed to any location just by clicking the Browse button and selecting where you want it to go on your computer. And always, as usual, click Save when you're done with that. Okay, remote configuration, we've already gone over that. The device information, same thing there. Time settings. This is where you set your. This is where you set your uh, time and date on the NVR. So obviously here we have it set for Eastern Time. The U.S. and Canada is where we're located here, and um, and you can also tell the device to sync time um, manually. Uh, it's just automatically through the internet. So right here is my uh, DST, which is enabled, which is Daylight Savings Time. And you can do all of your Daylight Savings Time editing in this area right here. So guys, I'm going to stop with this for now. Uh, the video is getting a little long again, so we'll stop there. I'll make a part three. We're going to go down the line here, show you some more of these settings and how they work. And I can't wait to get into showing you how the playback and all works on these devices. Uh, it uh, works very, very well. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll have another one coming up real soon. See ya!